there was one very special girl named Lafiki. Lafiki means a friend. I remember the first time I ever saw him. He stared at me with those big eyes. I really loved Lafiki. My name is Florence. Morning. How is everybody? I have the best job in the world. I'm a guide in a Bwindi Impenetrable National Park. I've loved Bwindi as long as I can remember. It's magical. I have come to know the gorillas as individuals. They all have such a personalities. When Lafik was born 25 years ago, many people saw the forest as something to be used or harvested. There was a fear that probably we might lose all the mountain gorillas. And if interventions had not been designed at that point, by now probably we would not be having any mountain gorillas on Earth. In 2008, something really revolutionary happened here. A lot named the clouds opened. It's a beautiful place. And the money from every visitor goes directly to the community. Clouds has really changed my community into another, maybe state, I would say. My name is Arthur Kajubwami, a resident of Kahulide village, Teko Parish. So as I talk now, number one, education has really enhanced in this community. Not only that, we have so far hospital. We have a hospital. If I this was real partnership and it changed people's minds about the forest and protected areas. We all know that we need the forest to thrive and poaching is frowned upon by most people. One day earlier this year, a few men went into Bwindi to hunt for bush pigs. Because of COVID, no employment, no money to sustain a family. So somebody says, why can't I go into the bush, get uh, this wild animal, kill it, maybe sell it as bush meat, or even feed it to my family. In the process of doing whatever they wanted to do, they get face to face with this family. In the process of protecting their family, maybe he charged. A mock charge is absolutely terrifying. Gorilla is very strong. Charges are coming towards you. The Fikin would not have hurt those poachers. I'm sure the poachers didn't know that. And so they launched a spear. And now the Fikin is gone. When I heard that Lafik had been killed, I was devastated. It was like a member of my own family had died. Losing Lafiki is like you have lost your brother. Losing Lafiki is like you have lost your son, your child. Losing one gorilla, it's, it's, a, it's a disaster for the country. You know, we have very few of these animals in the world. And then to make matters worse, you're losing a silverback, which is the head of the family. When a gorilla family loses the silverback, the group can completely fall apart. The Fikis family, they've split into smaller groups, and no new silverback has come to take charge. It's going to haunt us for a long time. We continue asking ourselves, where did it go wrong? 
and this might not have happened if we had not had this COVID-19 crisis. Tourism everywhere has dried up and clouds had to close until people travel again. No money froze right now from tourists to the community. Times are hard. You will not talk about conservation to a hungry family. You will not talk about conservation somebody's child has been chased out of school. You will not talk about conservation when somebody cannot take their sick loved one to hospital. You can only talk about conservation if they are seeing direct benefits from wildlife. African Life Foundation has set aside a budget to help the communities improving their livelihoods, identify those uh, short-term investments that can help the community in the COVID situation. We just have to keep working to make our community more resilient. We cannot depend on tourism alone. We need farmers who can still sell their goods and we need to keep rangers and guides patrolling the forest. We need all our kids to have access to education. I see that kids now grown up with a completely different perspective about these animals. They know that their lives are intertwined. As for me, every day as I track through these woods, I know that I will feel happy every time I come upon the mountain graders again. I will do everything I can to keep them safe.